it's discussed this problem which says that if z is a complex number and iota square equal to minus 1 then find modulus z if an equation in terms of z is given as 11 z to the power 10 plus 10 i z to the power 9 plus 10 i z minus 11 equal to 0. So let's plan it in this way like uh, suppose grouping the first two terms and the last two terms. So z to the power 9 taken common from the first two terms will be getting 11 z plus 10 iota and taking the other two term on the RHS will be getting 11 minus 10 iota z. So z to the power 9 comes out to be 11 minus 10 iota z divided by 11 z plus 10 iota. So you can see that in the numerator and denominator the coefficients are something very interesting like 11 and 10 that is getting repeated here and where the position of z has been changed. So let's try to encast this. Uh, suppose now if we consider z to be a complex number of the model a plus iota b. So let z equal to a plus iota b and taking modulus on both the sides so we can say that modulus of z to the power 9 will come out to be uh, modulus of 11 minus 10 iota a plus ib replacing z on the rhs divided by 11 into a plus ib plus 10 iota Now according to the magnitude formula we can say that this is going to be mod z to the power 9 is equal to square root of 11 plus 10b whole square plus 10a whole square. As you know the magnitude formula of a complex number is root over real part square plus imaginary part square and uh, denominator will be 11a square plus 11b plus 10 square. So the RHS will come out to be root over 11 square plus 220b plus 10 square into a square plus b square. divided by the denominator is coming out to be 11 square into a square plus b square plus 220b plus 10 square and this is the value of modulus of z to the power 9. Now uh, we can write down the RHS in a little bit more creative way as uh, root over 1 minus we can write down the numerator as 11 square minus 10 square times a square plus b square 220b is already there in numerator and denominator so it's the common term and the balancing the constant term will be getting plus Ten square minus eleven square divided by the original denominator that is eleven into a square plus b square plus two twenty b plus ten square. So it is coming out to be root over 1 minus 11 square minus 10 square which is a positive quantity common a square plus b square minus 1 divided by the denominator 11 into a square plus b square plus 220b plus 10 square. Now from this particular step we are getting a contradiction out there because you see that if we consider mod z 
to be less than equal to sorry less than 1 if you consider mod z is less than 1 then you can see that the LHS is uh, mod z to the power 9 so in that case we can see that the LHS will be uh, less than 1 but what is happening to the RHS we can see that RHS is going to be like mod z is less than 1 means we, we can say that a square plus b square is uh, less than 1 mod z is nothing but root over a square plus b square so if a square plus b square is less than 1 then uh, this quantity is going to become negative so the whole quantity we can say is going to be positive so it's going to be 1 plus so uh, the whole quantity within root will be more than 1 so we can claim that RHS is going to be more than 1 so in that case uh, the equality cannot exist and uh, on the other hand if we consider mod z to be greater than 1 that is uh, a square plus b square is greater than 1 in that case what is happening the LHS will be greater than 1 but uh, the RHS is going to be you see a square plus b square is greater than 1 means this quantity will be positive so the whole quantity is positive so we can claim that RHS is going to be less than 1 so LHS greater than 1 RHS less than 1 so again this this is a contradictory case like the last case so from these two cases we can say that the equality can only hold equality can only hold if mod z is taking the boundary value that is 1 if mod z is 1 then we can safely claim that LHS equal to RHS equal to 1 so in that case the equality will hold because if modulus z is 1 then this is going to be 0 so RHS will be 1 and LHS will also be 1 so the final answer can be claimed to be mod z equal to 1